afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Alex Cobb gets the ball for the Orioles in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Into the box now, Brett Leading Gardner. And we are Yankees. ready for some daytime the baseball. Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. First pitch, 4 o'clock. Down the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Static second. The shortstop. DJ LeMahieu. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in DJ LeMahieu. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. 65 degrees our temperature here at first pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher. I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. Here's big Aaron Judge. He swings and grounds it to short. And that's through for a hit. Around first, digging for two. Batting four. So a struggle so that time for him in center field. And as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. No reason to give in to him here with a base open. Putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this. Three and oh now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Three balls, no strikes. On the line, that's a base hit. Judge rounds the corner and is headed home. And the run will score as the Yankees grab the early 1-0 lead. Dan, as a former that's infielder, good. I apologize that's for good. him. Nothing's more Labor. frustrating or upset Florida. you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around to score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, d -Row, There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. On the ground to the left side. Beautiful diving stop. Hey now. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Yankees lead this one one to nothing. Masahiro Tanaka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Tanaka right now is the best of all of their starting pitchers. Good fastball, 92 to 94. Best pitch is the split finger. He'll throw it early. He'll throw it often. If he has the good split, these hitters are in for a long night. And digging into the Beating batter's off. box will be Hanser Alberto. He'll lead things baseman. off here in the bottom Hunter. half of the first. Alberto. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Ball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 0. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting second. The right fielder, Trey Mancini. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Count 1 0. Oh. One out, nobody on. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up and it's one and one. Well that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball one and two now. Yeah you could tell he was ready for another fastball but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But right at the shortstop for the second out. The left fielder, Anthony. Stepping in, Santander. Anthony Santander. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Back outside. Faces are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike now. Two balls oh, and a strike. Guy. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2 1 home. Good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. from the stretch. Ball one, no strike. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Now the 1-0. Count now a ball and a strike.
He's set. Here comes the 1 1. I got to count. Two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Two out with the man at first. A full count to the Orioles' designated hitter. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Another full count offering on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Tuckman is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Orioles leave one. It remains one nothing. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. Leading off of the ankle, the catcher. Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. One and one. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Iglesias is there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting seven, the left fielder, Mike Talkman. Now to the plate, Mike Talkman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And the pitch. Yeah. Now here's the pitch. Gets the fastball by okay, him here, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Bases are empty. One man out. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Chris Davis. Leading off. And they'll need him to get something going here. The first baseman, Chris. David. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. When it left that his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it fielder. hugged the line and oh, found there. its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Austin Hayes the next to bat as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield.
Here comes the first pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Looking for a productive at bat here. Get that runner from second over to third. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And that's the first out. Batting seven. The third baseman, Rio Ruiz. So stepping in, Rio Ruiz, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Two balls and no strikes. Great situation to be up at the plate right now. But if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Jose Iglesias, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. 3-0 pitch. Finds the zone, strike one. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And this is taken. It's a ball and a strike now to the Baltimore shortstop. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The one two. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. On a line, that's a base hit. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. He was able to that spit on done. that first slider right the there, guys, through. but he didn't let the yeah. second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco, as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Judge is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Now Stepping that. into the box, the Hunter baseman. Alberto. Two's Hunter. all over the place. Two on, two Alberto. out, and of course, here in inning number two. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Low for ball one. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. But not in time as he's across with the run. Now batting. And right now field. time will be called here Ray. as you see the pitching coach making Man. his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. So 
So here's Trey Mancini as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0 1 offering. Inside ball. Two down, runners at first and second. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Here's the two and two. Got him swinging on the splitter that time. And with that, the side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More baseball on the show right after this. Digging in now, Luke Voigt. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Luke Voigt. First delivery to him on the way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Grounded back up the middle. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Back to the top of the order now. Right. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Heading out towards shallow right. Mancini moving back. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Up next for the Yankees, the shortstop, DJ LeMahieu. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0 and 2. Swing and he pops him up. Iglesias over to his right and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, and it's one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. And 
And that's a fair ball lined to the right side. And now it'll kick around in the corner. He pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the now play, back. tying Definitely the ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Strike one to start the at-bat. Two out here and a runner at second. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Close, but just off the outside corner. Two balls, one strike. And he misses again, ball three. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Now batting, the second baseman, Labor. And Torres. that'll bring up Labor Torres. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball at 1 0. Lays off again, and it's 2 0. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Two and one. Here it is. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. He set the 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Anthony Santander, the next Leading to bat. For the Orioles, the left fielder, Anthony. Dan Hender. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Eight. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Right side. Defense aligned perfectly. And he's retired here one away. Now back the designated And here's hitter. Renato Nunez. Renato. 0 for 1 for him here in this Nunez. one. First pitch on its way. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. The well, first this is certainly something 19. you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. 
Striding in, Chris Davis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to AB. And here's a fastball called for strike one. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And after three, it remains a 2-2 tie. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. Riding in once again, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 1 0. Now the 1 0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. All even now. Two and two. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but oh, it wasn't game. outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough Talk. job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. At the plate, Mike Talkman. Ball one to start the at bat. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hard on the ground towards short. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now batter. Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Popped up. And Davis will put this one away and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. And we are tied 2-2. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Leading off. Now batting, Orioles. Austin Hayes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding oh, out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hey. Here's the first pitch to him. And he's way off balance with the swing there. 
Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. On the ground to second for Torres. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. Digging in. Rio, Rio Ruiz. Ruiz. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Now the pitch. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And the pitch. Well. Two runs, three hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Tanaka with a little do-it-yourself play, and there are two down. The batter number 11. Now with the plate, Look Jose up. Iglesias. Jose Iglesias. Tanaka into his motion. First pitch on its way. Aye. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Ball. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Got a ball, one strike. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Through four, we're deadlocked at two apiece. Digging in to try it again. Luke Voigt. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Voigt. First offering on its way. And a fastball is off the plate away. It's ball one. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Swing and a miss on the splitter, and it's one and two. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Two and two the count. Here it comes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Santander waits on it. And that's the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 11. So one gone Correct. in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Ready with another 2 2. Line drive, base hit to right. I got to be honest, I'm shocked he went back to this pitch again. First one, he was on it and fouled it off. Second one, he did not miss. Prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. 
And he's back standing. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Liner towards second. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And that's hitting one on one right there, guys. The only way you're able to execute that type of base hit on that type of pitch is to recognize it early, stay tall, stay back, and trust the process. So two men are on with one man out, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. Drives it out to deep right center field. Hayes on the run for it, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And that's going to plate the go-ahead run from second as they move out in front here, 3-2. The to two. The designated this thing left the bat. I Drop thought it had three run home written yeah. all over it, but it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. At the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Hit down the third baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And it's not in time. He's safe. As a run will score on the play as well. Now batting. The second baseman. Labor. Torre. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he has signaled to the bullpen. That's going to be all for his starter, Alex Cobb. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Hunter Harvey takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Number 56, Hunter Harvey. Standing in now, Torres. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now the 1-0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Two balls and a strike. Two one. Now the two one. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Judge is on his way home. And this is going to find the wall out around the 373 sign. And the second run will score here as they open things up to a 6-2 advantage. You now simply that, cannot that, offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez, as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Now batting, left fielder, Mike Talkman. Stepping in now, Mike Talkman. 
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Santander waits on it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a seven to two ball game. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. Stepping into the box, Gio Urshela. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch on its way. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. A runner on first with two away. That's a ball. And he falls behind now, 2-0. 2 This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball three. Fastball taken high, and it's three and one now. I got three and one. Three ball. Luke Voigt would be next. Two out with the man at first. And the count will be full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and the inning continues. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Ready once again, Luke Voigt. He yeah, hits man. here in a spot where the he might be able to put this one out of reach. Four. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Popped him up. Ruiz is there. And that's the third out. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead it 7-2. to two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading Standing off, in, Morgan Chance Oriole. Cisco. He flew out the in Jesse. his last at-bat. This one doesn't look good so Cisco. far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Tuckman arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Now batting. Second so the lineup flips over and Hunter. digging in. Hanser Alberto. Alberto. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Eight. On the corner at the knees, 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Eight. Working quickly now as the splitter's in there, 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great up movement on that Warrior. slider. And it completely right locked field. up the hitter. Didn't Dre. fool the umpire, though. Mancini. In now, Trey Mancini. As he takes a called strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now here it comes. 
One and one. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Two out, nobody on. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Ball three. Lays off the split finger that time. Three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. This is foul right side. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down five. It's seven to two. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there. He got him. Now batter. Stepping in, DJ LeMayhew. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yeah. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. The one two. Hit softly on the ground to first. Reined in. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting. Right field. Two away now in the Aaron. Yankees sixth. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First offering on its way. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 pitch. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're on top seven to two. Striding forward now, Anthony Santander. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game that this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake nope. the bats up. Low with the splitter, ball one. Count one and oh. Two and zero to the Baltimore left fielder. And he'll just watch the splitter here. Two and one. And right into the shift, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh. 
high in the air out towards shallow right. Judge is under it. Makes the play one away. Now batting. So and now it'll be the hitter. four hole hitter, Ronaldo, Ronaldo Nunez. 0 for 2 here Nunez. to start the afternoon. First offering on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And this is going to rattle up against the out of town scoreboard now. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Number hey, tip your hat to the pitcher right there. That was a streak of 11 batters retired in a row before that base hit. Let's see if he can regroup and keep going. Here's Chris Davis now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One oh. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to hump up on a fastball and sailed on it. 3-0 to him now. One out and a runner on second base. And that's over, 3-1. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. The 3 1. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there. And you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Digging in once again, Austin Hayes. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Now Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Two men are on with two men out. That's wide, 2-0. He's been really effective in this one so far. But it's interesting here that with a couple of guys on base, he seems to be not trusting his stuff quite as much. Kind of messing around the strike zone a little bit. The 3-0. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Three one is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. 
couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Full count, here it comes. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. That's a big no number. number. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Now in the box, Jose Iglesias. One for two on his line so far in the game. Tanaka pauses. First pitch on the way. Fastball taken a little under the letters called a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement. And a swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Giancarlo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. The wind-up and the 0-1. Hit in the air to left. Santander waits on it. One away. The batter. The One gone base. here in the Yankee seventh. Labor. And that'll bring up the Torres. exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty now impressive, batting. Matt. I really like the a catcher, catcher that trusts Gary. and works off his Thank fastball. You. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters, and go grab some bench. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. And he takes ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 1 0. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're on top seven to two. Adam Adovino gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Adam Adovino. Last half of the seventh here. here Ready for another Over shot now. Chance Cisco. No hits to this point. Cisco. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. The 1-0 home. 
Runs a bit inside for a ball. Now the 2 0 home. 80. Two balls, one strike. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The three one. That misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Wow, I'm not sure what they were afraid of in this at bat. The Down count back. moved to three Second and two, and base. they didn't even Hunter. challenge him there. I can understand Alberto. being careful with some hitters, but not that guy. He'll happily take the walk. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Hanser Alberto, he was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, he failed to pull a bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. Rocket to third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less now than right two field. outs, but Number they're six down six. by so much in this game that Ray. hopefully maybe they can get Man. something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. i played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter given that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. Taken, but called a strike. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Nope. Yank the slider across that time. Laid off for a ball. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. He's set and the two one pitch. Three and, one. three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the Don't line, but that wasn't a great 25. pitch to do it on. It's Anthony. really not the best two-strike approach either. Dan Hender. At the plate, Anthony Santander, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And it's fouled away. Ready on 0 and 2. First and second now, one man out. And another foul ball. Here comes another 0 2.
line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with Doesn't one away. Nice no, no, piece no. of hitting right there. Looked like no, the guy on yeah. second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. As a look, now the pitch. A oh, ball and no strikes. Boy, it's really fun for me watching this vet out there battling in this tough spot. We've seen him in jams like this many times before, so he has plenty of experience to be able to get out of these kind of jams. And he's thinking more about that than the task at hand, which is getting this hitter out. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Bases are loaded with only one out. One and two now. now. One and two. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Number That's a pretty pitch. unique Number pitch sequence, 19. guys. Usually pitching Three. is all about mixing pitches Dang and location. Bit. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Chris Davis at the plate now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. Oh. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 2-0. Too oh, tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. That one's in there. Three and one. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And this is a great example of what happens now when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk okay. of the inning looked harmless enough, but this hey. one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. Jonathan Holder answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Austin Hayes will be the first one to greet him and he'll bat in a big spot here bases loaded and two out in the inning. From the belt the pitch swing and a miss that time it's 0 and 1. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 delivery. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Orioles settle for one. Eighth inning coming up. 
It's the Yankees seven and the Orioles three. Sean Armstrong has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. New inning set to get underway. So game. striding in, Mike Talkman. It was an RBI Mike. sack fly Mark. for him last time through. First pitch of the at bat. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And there's the first out. Now batting. Third base. Striding into the box, Gio Urshela. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. That's a ball. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Armstrong. Stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He was taken in the 18th round back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 1 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Popped him up. Iglesias calls for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now Into the box, Luke Voigt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Santander is right there, and that will retire the side. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They hang on to a 7-3 lead. Digging in, Rio Ruiz. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning the number eight. Baseman, Rio Ruiz. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Aye. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A one count. Here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and backed up 11. a nice effort turned good in by job. the starter. These Both days, bad. pitching has become He's a full late, staff yeah. effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. To the plate now, Jose Iglesias. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 1 0 home. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, 1 and 1. 
And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. In now, now Chance Cisco. And they're, they're, they're down they're to their final they're four they're outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not go. looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball. The 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Chan Cisco. And he popped him up. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And this is just now a cut fastball. He's trying base. to sneak in the back on door. Throw. He's unable to Out get it done. Throw. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. So now to the plate, Hanser Alberto, nope. as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 1 0. Ball, that's out. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. The 2 0 on the way. Outside, oh, 3 and 0 now. Trey Mancini would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out here and a runner at second. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Up next for the Orioles. The right field. Chad Green enters here looking to get the final Matt out before Feeney. the ninth inning. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Yankees. Number 57, Chad Green. Standing in, Trey Mancini. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. 
Yeah, one a day keeps the doctor away, Dan, especially no when it's a big Number one late 25. in the game. It doesn't matter Anthony. at all. You're just trying to get Dan one knock Edgar. a day, find a couple barrels. He happened to catch his late. Boy, I tell you what, you're talking about coming at a good time, too. You have a kind of a rough night, last A-B. You end up being able to do something positive, not only for yourself, but also helping the team out, too. Into the box, Anthony Santander, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Orioles settle for one. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Yankees seven and the O's four. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Number 11, Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is pulled into right, and that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now bad. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can work a walk or leg out an infield single, but not in today's game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. Stepping in now, D.J. LeMayhew. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. That makes it an 8-4 ball game. The right Dan, back-to-back -back pitches. Double, Aaron. then single. Ambush Good. tactics. Well, I tell you what, they're swinging the bats early. You have a double, then an RBI single to drive them in. Potential for a real big inning here. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he'll take a look at ball one. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 and now. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Nobody out runner on first. Two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A payoff pitch one more time. And ball here's four, a slider four, that four. misses below the knees. It's ball four. Now batting, designated hitter, Giancarlo. Stratting forward Stanton. now is the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. So far, two for three in this one. set here it comes ball, ball one Ooh, he's out. really in trouble and it's just getting worse and worse and worse this guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way I uh, had him lunging at that pitch one away one. and it's one and one now man this guy's been locked in all game long 
I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. The 1-1. One, one. Hit hard towards the hole. And that is through into left field. The base hit. The throw into second. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. And he's safe. Oh, man. I don't know how that happened. Base. Looked to be a base Labor. hit to the outfield. But then all of a sudden, the throw comes in. And they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Now at the plate, Torres, and their runners at the corners now. First pitch on its way. Ball, oh, that's out. Runners are at the corners with one man out. High with the cut fastball, and he's behind 2 0. Oh. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. 3 0 now. Gary Sanchez will be next. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. Now a 9-4 ball game. I mean, that had to feel good now right there, Dan. That's his third RBI there of the game and extends his good. team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big Your RBI right please. there for a little bit now more breathing room. Michael Rooker enters number the game 62. with one gone in the top of oh, inning goal. number nine. Rooker. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, when you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball hey he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play good job to let it go by though as a hitter struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game that's a pretty good pitch right there that now fastball left on the field. inner half of the plate Mike. you can see that he just Talk. isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there At the plate now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Popped him up. Ruiz in foul ground, but this will land untouched. And he looks at a ball, one and two. And 
And this one's in the dirt. Goes to third with it. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both into scoring position. The 2-2. Two -two. The count is full. Wow, this Three is two. a pretty good at-bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to three and two and he's seen a lot of pitches too ready now with the payoff pitch and there's strike three so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired so it's two runs on three hits no errors and a couple of men left on to the bottom of inning number nine four five and six coming up the Yankees lead it nine to four So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He'll be the one to get us going here in the, the bottom of inning hitter. number nine. Renato Nunez. He's set and the pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Ball one. Count, one and one. A two and yeah, one count to Nunez. Right. The two one. Hard hit towards center. Gardner is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for. Now back. One away. First baseman, Chris David. At the plate, Chris Davis. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. And that is swung on and missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another Austin. shot. Austin Hayes. He hey. comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. 1 0. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2-0 home is taken strike one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Rio Ruiz would be next. The three and one pitch. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. Judge is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves.
And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. The Yankees used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Masahiro Tanaka pitches well enough to get the W. Alex Cobb permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.